Hello, I'm Avery. This is Online Income Network. I show ways you can make money online, as well as giving tips on YouTube. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can appeal a copyright claim on your work. YouTube has given you a copyright claim saying that you're using somebody's work without their permission. And you can either dispute it by saying you're not using their work at all, or you're using something through Creative Commons, in which case it's free for you to use. Or if you are using somebody's work, then they don't know about it then you can have you have other different ways to resolve it which is you can either mute their portion of their song or just take out that portion of the video in its entirety so with all those being said i'm going to show you how you can do those okay you can see that i'm on creator studio what i'm going to do is go to videos and in videos, I can go and hover over any video that has a copyright claim. You can see that I got two right now. And this is one right here. It says, this video was found to contain copyrighted material. As a result, it cannot be monetized by the uploader. See details. So what I wanna do is go to see details. Now, I'm at the copyright summary and status. You can see that the channel impact is not affected. The visibility is a draft. Monetization is ineligible because of the copyright claim. But right now it says at the bottom content used is remembering summer. And it says mindful music. The copyright claim is audio. The impact on the video is that the video can't be monetized. And then it has actions over here, which I can do one of four actions. I can trim out the segment, replace the song, mute the song, or I can dispute it outright. If I would like to trim out a segment, it would just ask me if I want to do that. And then it just asked me if I want to double check the video before continuing. The trim will remove things like info cards, ad breaks, end screens, things that exist within the trimmed area. And if I want to continue, I can do that. And you can see that I can do it right here, but I don't want to do that. If I wanted to do that for whatever reason at some point, I can go ahead and edit the song itself if I ever want to go back to that. So instead of doing that, I could also replace the song or I can just mute the song. So let's see what replace songs look like. You can see that it'll take me to a new window that'll pop up, in which case I can go ahead and see the highlighted areas is where the song needs to be replaced at. Or I can erase the audio outright. But YouTube has its own royalty free music that you could put in these songs, that you could put in these songs, that you could put in <laughs> your videos. So I can go ahead and try to mirror the music or I can just do something completely different altogether. Yeah, let's, let's hear. I got some pop going, some dark pop. Let's see how this sounds. Gives you a little bit of a different feel for uh, animal compilations, doesn't it? dispute this so it tells you that remember the following things are not valid reasons to dispute id claim and that is owning a copy of the video or song and you're not making money from the song or video and you gave credit to the copyright owner all those are not valid reasons and those aren't what i'm going back for going to the second step you have to select the main reason that you're disputing the claim one, it's original content, you have a license for it, it's under fair use, or it's in the public domain. Now, seeing as though I don't think that they're the same song altogether, I'm just gonna go with public domain. And now I'm gonna go ahead and press continue. Now, we got review requirements. 
It says public domain. What is it? When was the song recorded? Other public domain exceptions. Basically, it's giving you reasons why it would be considered public domain and making sure that you understand what public domain is. But that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. It says, why is this content in public domain? And I'm going to go ahead and put this is not even the same song. I got this song from XYZ. In which case, I can go ahead and tell you exactly where I got this song from. I actually got it from Mixkit, which is royalty-free music. So the last thing is, is asking me why is this content in public domain? In which case, I'm going to go ahead and tell them that this is not even the same song. I got this song from off of Mixkit. And everything on Mixkit, they say, is royalty-free. So with the main thing being that these aren't the same two songs, that's what I'm gonna put in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and check these three boxes. My video does not infringe anybody copyright. I understand that the claimant will be able to review the video. And then understand that filing fraudulent disputes may result in termination of my YouTube account. So I'll just put my name here and then I'll press submit. So let me go ahead and put this down real quick and then come back to you after I press submit. And you have, it says dispute submitted. Disputes will be sent to the claimant for review. YouTube does not review ID disputes. The claimant now has 30 days to review your dispute. We'll send you an email to let you know the outcome. And you can close it. So it's unfortunate that YouTube themselves does not actually view these. And I think it's a little weird that they wouldn't to double check some of this stuff, but it just kind of is what it is. And it says, uh, as far as the dispute expires in 29 days, viewing restrictions or monetization associated with disputed claims are suspended until the dispute is resolved. The copyright owner is required to respond to your dispute within 30 days. So there you have it. This claim is now up for appeal and now I just have to wait to see how that goes. Last thing I wanna say before I get out of here is that I made a, another video talking about how you can make a copyright claim on someone else's work. So if you need to do that, then check it out. And hopefully you found the information useful. And if you did, why don't you go ahead, like, subscribe, share with a friend, click the bell notification so you can notify when new videos come out from me. I make new videos every week. Thanks for watching.